It's Sunday, and you know what that means. Another batch of Xbox 360. Let's get them started. And welcome to Resell Robin. It's good to be back, guys. Got another batch of Xbox 360. The FOMO is real. Everybody's after the games. I have a really cool one here at the end that I think is severely underpriced that is fun as hell. We'll get to those in a little bit. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support we've been getting. Uh, we've now reached, I believe, almost... Uh, almost 1325 i believe we are going through the roof it's amazing to see all the support make sure you guys keep liking videos make sure you guys subscribe if you love the channel and enjoying what we're bringing we want to try to get to maybe uh 1350 or even 1375 after this video so if you guys are watching enjoy the content throw me a sub i would really appreciate it uh right here to the left of me or right of me depending on the video you're watching uh, some of the figures that came in recently for the show coming up in uh, two or three more months. I'll be at several anime conventions and video game cons. A few different figures that came in. I got some My Dress Up Darling, Miku, Dragon Ball. I got tons of stuff coming in. I just wanted to show off a few of the things that came in recently. I have a really cool Laserdisc box set that's coming in this week. I'm excited for that one. Although I did get a few Laserdiscs this week. I got uh, Tenchi Muya Volume... Which one is this? I'm not sure which volume this is. 11. Volume 11. Decided to have that one. Uh, I picked up Tenchi Muya Volume 9 on Laserdisc. And I picked up Outlaw Star Volume... Which one is this? 4. Volume 4. We're only 3 volumes away from having all of Outlaw Star. Super excited to have that series nearly on Laserdisc. I have a few other things coming in, so I'm happy to show those off. I, again, I am so happy, guys, by the way. I never thought we'd be at this point. It's amazing to have all the support. Um, oh, for the video that we had with the um, voting, uh, PlayStation 3 won. So this coming Wednesday will be the PlayStation 3 Hidden Gems. Congratulations to all you guys who voted for that one. We'll be putting that one up this coming Wednesday. And we're going to have another poll... Uh, we'll have a link to it down in the comments below or in the community section if you subscribe to us. Uh, voting for next Wednesday's video. Um, on that one, we're excluding PS3 since we're doing that one this Wednesday. So uh, let us know. We're going to throw the Switch on there. The Laserdisc one will go back on there. And I'm going to add two other or three other ones on there. Haven't decided completely yet. You'll see the poll when the video goes live on this. So make sure you guys go out and vote. Let me know, because I appreciate it. And as always, next Sunday, again, will be 360, so don't worry about that. But without further ado, I've been rambling on. I know you guys are waiting on the 360 games. Let's get them started, shall we? So actually, the first one I want to cover on the 360 is a... A little bit of an odd one. You're going to see this and go, whoa. I actually played this one recently and had fun with it, so I wanted to feature it. It's really cheap game, by the way, so you can pick this one up for very cheap on eBay. 10 or less. I enjoyed it, so I thought I'd show it off. It's actually Snoopy's Grand Adventure on the 360. It's actually a platforming game, uh, and you play as Snoopy in the Charlie Brown universe, but it's actually a relatively pretty fun platforming game so i don't know what else to say about it it's so cheap you're looking at five ten maybe close to twelve dollars with free shipping on ebay to get this one you're not looking at paying much at all and for what you're getting it's pretty fun now i might think this is gonna go up probably not this is just more of a recommendation to play for little little to no money i don't think this is gonna go up not really but it's worth your time to play. I had fun with it. So if you're looking for just something to mess around and you don't care about five or six bucks, it's definitely one to add. So don't sleep on that one. This one's really cool. I don't see this one featured that much. And it's actually Tomb Raider Anniversary. This game is a remake of the original Tomb Raider and it came out on 360. It may have come out on PlayStation 3 as well. I'm not 100% confident on that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if it did. I'm just not too sure. 
is another one that's floating around 10 to 20 dollar range more closer to 10 to 15 right now and it's pretty cool i love tomb raider i love the original so it was awesome to get a remake of that one is it better than the original debatable the graphics are better the, the tank controls were so bad on the original one but there's something nostalgic about the original one so it's kind of here and over there but i do think this one being at ten dollars this one could potentially get to 20 25 dollars so it's worth investing in this one for 10 bucks especially if you're a tomb raider fan pretty cool it fell under the radar during that era like tomb raider wasn't a big thing until the remake came out on the ps4 so i would add this one the next one i actually want to cover is a uh, murdered souls suspect this is a square enix uh, like detective type game that came out on the 360. Uh, I think this also came out on the PlayStation 3 as well. Both versions are 10 to $15, so really cheap to be honest. And Square Enix games, I haven't played this one pr myself precisely, so I can't attest again to how great this one is. Guys, I know it's annoying when I say it sometimes, but I have a backlog of so many games, it's not even funny. I have thousands of games so i try to play what i can but i buy up everything that i think i might want or could go up in value sometimes i just don't get around to playing it but it's one that i thought of enough of to add to my collection and i think it's one that you might want to add to as well for the price point being square enix let me know if you guys have played this one because i'm actually curious it's on my very large backlog but i am curious about it so if you've played it and you're watching this video let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this game but i think it's a good pickup now we're actually moving back into you know i always cover one japanese game and it's actually i really like this one and it's actually the idol master live for love uh, if you've ever played the idol master games they're actually basically like kind of like the hatsune miku games that released on the psp and the vita and the ps4 i believe where you're basically like a rhythm game where you have to match the buttons to the songs, but you actually get to dress up the girls and, you know, pick out your favorite waifu and listen to them sing. It, it's, I don't know, it, it's pretty damn fun. Uh, I got the limited edition one here. It came with the, the DVD of the anime as well in it. Uh, you can get this in Japan, this limited edition in Japan, for like 10 bucks or less. U.S., you're looking closer to like 30 Um you don't need to know Japanese to play this, although it is region locked. I guess I should cover that right now. You need a Japanese 360 to play this. But you don't need to know Japanese to play it, because as long as you can press the buttons and you can figure out how to put clothes on them, you'll enjoy it. And if you like J-pop, you're going to have a good time with this one. I like it. I think it's definitely one to pick up if you're looking for add to the Japanese exclusive 360 games. So I would add that one. This next one I actually want to cover is a really cool game by Insomniac, and it's actually called Fuse on the 360. It's uh, It reminds me a little bit of like the cover shooting of, um, what is it, uh, Gears of War, but you actually can switch between the different characters at any point. There's four different characters that have different like things they can do. Uh, it's actually got split-screen co-op. Uh, which is awesome because you got a little couch co-op going on like Gears of War. And I think it's really underrated game on the 360. I know it was like, compared to Gears back in the day. Uh, and like, man, that era was just different. If you, if you were, grew up in that era and you were an adult or a teenager like I was, there was a lot of games that just got shit on for no real reason because they weren't Grand Theft Auto, they weren't Madden, and they weren't Gears or Halo. And a lot of the stuff they call copycats and stuff had cool stories. And, like, yeah, the gameplay might not be quite as good as Gears was. But, I don't know. I had a lot of fun with this one. And I think this one's severely underrated. You're looking at, like, 10 to $12 for this game. This one is not rare. So, I don't expect it to go up more than to be, like, maybe 20 bucks. That's probably as far as it's going to go. But I do think it's a fun game. And it's worth picking up and playing. Just saying. My personal opinion. Now, the last one, on the other hand, is the opposite situation. This game, nobody played. Not very many people. It's not really known very well. It hasn't been destroyed by FOMO yet, which I hope it doesn't happen because of this video, but I want to feature it anyway. So, 
you're a subscriber, pick it up before it goes up. I'm just saying. Take my advice or not. But it's actually Fairy Tale Fights. Now this is one fucked up 360 game. You play as a it's a, like a 3D action game with a little bit of platforming, where you straight up just murder the hell out of fairy tale characters. You just chopping the big bad wood wolf's head off, gutting like gingerbread men, blood everywhere, and it is just insanity. It's rated. It's a hard R game, and it reminds me almost of like Conker's Bad Fur Day or like Naughty Bear. It's just brutal and violent and freaking awesome. And you can get this right now for like 15 bucks or 20 bucks. This one wants the, if it gets known, if Metal Jesus Rocks or one of these people covers this, this one's going up. This one's going up to 40 to 50. I, I can just feel it in my bones, guys. Do what you will with that, but I wouldn't sleep on this one. I picked this one up maybe about two weeks ago. I didn't want to risk it, and I'm letting you guys know now. Do what you want with that. I'm having fun with that one. I'm actually playing that one right now. It's, <laughs> it's really fun. But that's 360 games I got for this week, guys. Um, let me know what you guys think of my selections down below, as always. I always like hearing from you guys. It helps me with my channel. I like the little critiques. I know some people might think it's mean, some of the things. But some of the things helps me be better on YouTube. And I'm still a tiny little channel trying to grow. So anything you guys tell me helps me out. So I appreciate all that. Um, and again, the, what was it? The poll will be in the comments down below. So vote on your favorite thing for next Wednesday. We will roll it out just like we're doing this Wednesday for PS3. Uh, again, I have, uh, figures coming in for the comic con I'm going to be at. I'm at three shows this coming, uh, August and September. August will be at the, um, Chizu con in Madison, Wisconsin. We will be at anime 414 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we will be at Madison comic expo in September. So we're going to have a ton of anime figures. We are going to have um, manga, and then we're also going to have a lot of video games. Uh, so look for all of that, guys. Make sure you come by the booth and say hi. I'm thinking about running a whatnot soon, uh, maybe to sell off some, some games. I, don't worry, I'm not selling my collection, but I pick up stuff all the time. So if you guys might be interested in that, let me know down below if you guys like for me to run a whatnot. Maybe put some anime laser disc on there or some video games like japanese games whatever the case is throw it down below let me know what you guys are thinking because i appreciate all that fun information you give me but with that being said the most important thing of all that i can tell you is you know what it is stay savage that 360 fomo's not ending guys don't miss out this fairy tale game's gonna go mark my words